Hey guys, in this video, I'll be explaining how to use and create the take inter menu button. So what is the menu button? Well, it's a GUI element similar to a button, but uh, when you click on it, it displays a drop down menu. So we'll also be explaining menus in this because menu buttons and menus go hand in hand. So you can't do one without the other. Uh, we actually have menus covered in a separate video, a separate dedicated video. So I highly advise you to check that out. Otherwise you will be missing out on a lot. So we'll just be covering the basics of the menu over here. And the rest will be focusing on the actual menu button. So let's begin. Here's the menu button. Self dot M button is equal to TK dot menu button self dot frame. And it is a button after all, so it needs some text. Uh, we'll just call it my menu button. Right now we create the menu. Everything that, everything that we do, all the options or commands that we add will all be going in the menu. We won't actually uh, make any changes to the menu button. We'll just add everything in the menu and then pick up the menu and then throw it into the menu button in the end. That's all. So it's actually necessary to create the menu button first because when you're creating the menu, you need to pass in self dot uh, whatever the name of the menu button that you created in this case self dot m button, right? So be sure to create the menu button first little zero uh, Let's add in some commands Again, you should really watch the menu tutorial for this linked in the description, but basically a command is like a text label so it's like something, we'll give it a label of say load, right? So once you click this label load on the menu, the menu that shows when you click the menu button, you click on it and a function will trigger using the same command parameter that we used in previous widgets like the button, okay? So we need a function to link this to, so let's just quickly sidetrack ourselves and create something called command one, right? And let's just say this is a triggered function. All right. And let's just pass that in here. Command one, self command one. All right. Now uh, let's just create one for now. All right. Or you know, what? let's go ahead and create two. All right. But we'll give them the same uh, same function. All right. Let's call this one save. And self dot now we have to actually add this menu into the menu button. How are we gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna write self dot menu button, all right, and menu here, and then assign the menu to this. That's it, we're done. This is the menu assigned to the menu button. There's still one more thing to do, which is a pretty common thing to actually place this menu button somewhere. Uh, place is just one of the three layout managers in uh, Take Inter. You can use uh, back or grid as well as you want. It's just up to you, All right? And let's run this code now. It should run. And there you go, there's our menu button. We click on this and you can see our drop down menu right here. Let's click load and that function triggers click save, that function triggers, these are two commands, and that's why it works, all right? Uh, as you can see, it looks kind of awkward because, uh, I mean, it looks like, like a text label, it doesn't look like a button. So let's change that. We're gonna use the relief parameter, little tk.raised, all right? Let's run this now. And there we go, that looks much better. That's an actual outline. Uh, if you want to do more, you can just uh, adjust the border parameters as well, uh, BD, or well, you can even change the text or the background color, completely up to you. While the add command feature is pretty handy, I think you would encounter radio buttons and check buttons used more often in menu buttons. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. We'll go self.menu.add check button. Again, for radio button, it's radio button. Now we'll just cover check buttons here because the syntax for both of them is pretty similar. 
the only difference between them is the same difference between ready buttons and check buttons, you know, the entire variable class difference. All right. But if you're really curious, you can check out the menu video where we used radio buttons instead of check buttons. All right. So let's just give this a label. We'll call it option one. And we'll be creating two of these in total. So let's go ahead and create the variable classes for this. Again, if you don't already know, variable classes are, you, are you know, special variables used to hold the values for uh, widgets like the check button. Well, that's soft.var1 for the first check button and var2 for the second one. Mind your caps while we're here. I and V are both capital. Okay, and we'll assign it soft.var1 now. And let's give this a command of, we don't need to add this part for now anyway, but it's good for demonstration purposes. Uh, option two, soft.var2, and here we'll do something, we, well, let's just stick to something simple, soft.var1.get, this gets the value of the first variable, which is associated with the first check button, so basically you're getting the value for the first check button. Alright, so what is this code going to do? So it's going to give us two check buttons, and when they're clicked, it will activate this function right here, which uh, returns their values. Now remember, unlike radio buttons, check buttons don't have a value parameter. That's because they have two default values. Well, not default, they have two possible values. Zero or one. Zero if they're clicked, sorry, zero if they're not clicked, and one if they're clicked. Clicked meaning selected. Let's run this. All right, slight mistake there, self.command. All right, here's our menu button. So let's click on that, option one. All right, as you can see, we have one and zero printed out. That's because option one is now selected and option two is not. Let's deselect de this. Both of them are zero now. Let's click option two. Uh, that's option one is not selected and option two is selected. Let's select option one now. Now you can see both of them are selected, all right? So that's just about it for this video. If you want to see more from our channels in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button and let us know what you thought in the comment section below.